Hey guys, I'm Frank Charles. Today we're talking American gas guzzling greatness. It's going to be the first in this little series and behind me we've got a 1999 Ford Mustang Cobra SVT. Now I've got to deliver this car to my sister down in Clearwater, but before I do that I'm going to show you the interior features, the exterior features, all the things you would have gotten way back in 1999 if you bought one of these cars for probably about, I'm guessing, $26,472. I'll check on that. This here particular Mustang is one of about 8,000 that Ford produced in 1999. Of the coupe version, they made about 800, I think, white ones. This is one of those. So let's start it up and see how it sounds. <laughs> Boy, you got a big drink. Pretty easy to maneuver for such a little sexy, sexy car. This old guy at the car show asked me the other day, what's the gas mileage? <laughs> so it is officially a gas guzzler. From what I could tell over the past few weeks, little drives here and there, it looks like we're getting about 11 miles to the gallon in the city. <laughs> Maybe 12. That's not too bad though. I mean, what do you expect? He said... I think he asked me that, so you know how people say something so they can tell their joke? Well, he said that to me and then he said, well, if you gotta ask, you probably shouldn't have one. He's probably right. Yeah, my dad loved this car for years. It was like his first big show car. Now he's passed away, but he put so much work into this. I'm getting ready to, you know, put a couple little more details in it and then take it down to my sister for its forever home in Clearwater. So if you live in Clearwater and you see this thing out, give my sister a honk. All right, so we're gonna head down here to this little strip. <laughs> when my dad was still around, he would always take me to like, if he had a car he wanted to show me or let me drive, he would always take me down to this little strip of road that's like the road to nowhere. I think, I don't know, West Virginia started a highway and then they're getting ready to finish it, but it turns out it's the perfect place to kind of zero to <laughs> zero to 60 your car when you want to see how that performance does. Anyway, back then I went to Daytona Beach and I was like so excited because I didn't know what was what and I'd never really been there before, but I knew that every day I'd go out on my little hotel balcony and I'd see in the parking garage like maybe a, a group of like 10 Mustangs. And they would just go meet up, and I was like, man, those guys are cool. They really know what's what. Oh, they're with the mic. And they're 60, so I don't know. What do you think?
as far as trunk space goes pretty awesome but <laughs> that's taken over by stereo of course a couple nice little subs and a little amp got your battery back here pretty accessible ah uh, yes welcome to the inside recognizable Ford bits and bobs there but it's a nice fresh interior. It's nice clean in here. We've got like a camel leather uh, and vinyl dash. It's two-tone, which is really cool. Even on the steering wheel, you've got the uh, lighter and the darker camels or brown. And it's really held up well over these 19 years. The steering wheel will feature your cruise control and I think those are radio controls there. And you've got a nice clean door panel. A little plasticky, but it's nice and clean. There's not much going on. Just got your windows, your locks, your mirrors. There's a speaker lower in the door. There's a uh, tweeter here higher in the door, which is nice for a little extra sound. And then, uh, you know, you got a cubby. Other than that, that's your first impression inside. The steering wheel is nice. It's got your airbag, but it also says Cobra, which is cool. You find a lot of little Cobra features in this car, including this cool floor mat. <laughs> it's got a little Cobra embroidery there, which is really nice. Floor mats make the car just like the rest of it does. The shifter's good. It's in not my favorite place just because of the drink holders, but if you don't have a lot of drinks, you know, then the shifter's in a perfect spot. Or if you don't drink giant 44 ounce drinks like I do. But a little can help fit in here in this double cup holder that Ford provided. And you don't want to have a can in this one because you're going to go around your first turn and it's going to go in the floor. You've got your brake, you've got a regular cigarette lighter which is nice and then your traction control down lower which sets below your double double radio one being the regular cassette tape player of those 1990s and 80s and then you've got your radio in that one and below it is your CD player. The air conditioner is really nice and cool blows hard <laughs> the leather seats are pretty comfortable. They've got this nice little side action to hold you in nice and tight in your little mini race car. So uh, back seat as well. It's a little tight if you've got long legs, but for short, short leggies like me, everything's just fine. Really comfortable leather seats. And then you'll see in the back also you've got these pull down seats so you can go to Lowe's, grab some tall stuff and shove it in your trunk. Just like that. You've got a rear defroster here on the panel and you've got your light switch there. And that pretty much does it for the interior of this car I guess besides these super chic mirror lighting combo. For all those times you need to fix yourself. All right, so that's the interior of this beautiful 1999 Ford Cobra SVT. There's the horn. Let's give it a go. Let's ride. Driving one of these cars just depends on how good you are at driving a five-speed, a manual transmission. I mean, go out and learn. It's like it's like cursive handwriting. They don't make you do it, so nobody knows how to do it. But one day you're gonna want to know how to drive one of these things. So go out and do that. Learn your stuff. 